Hello and welcome to my video about better UI. My name is Salomon and in this video I want to explain the example scene coming along with better UI. So just open the example scene in this uh, photo structure and hit play. So what we see when we start we can see um, transitions is uh, selected and we see here some controls which has transitions. So we have a button here and the button actually uh, have a transition which is colored her. Could also have sprites web or animation but we have colored her here for the image itself so the background and um, we have better transitions which are additional transitions so we also have a color tar for the text component getting white and here a special one for the image in the center uh, two actually one for the sprite swap space to circle and otherwise and alpha so it will get um, change its alpha when pressed. Uh, so actually we have color task, bright web and animation like in normal transitions, but also alpha and object activeness. Uh, object activeness I will explain in a second. So uh, here we have a slider which also has uh, many, many um, transitions. And here we have uh, an input field with which also has some transitions but also has a placeholder so normal placeholder which is the text here enter text and it has an additional placeholder which is this spades symbol in the middle in the center so when I t type um, it disappears you can have as many placeholders and transitions as you like okay what we also have is uh, these tabs which are actually toggles and um, the toggles can also have better transitions but also can have better toggle transitions so they have on and off sta states instead of normal pressed highlighted and disabled uh, but it works exactly like the other and you have the same options in this case, we have some color tasks for the appearance and um, an object activeness transition, which will just enable or disable the game object containing the uh, content of the tab we are clicking here. All right, so let's go on to better image. Better image um, has some advantages, as you can see, here in Yugoi, um, you have a sliced sprite which is uh, stretched or shrinked and uh, looks awful on this uh, on the corners. So with better UI, we have the ability make a image better, uh, and then you have the ability for sliced sprites keep border aspect ratio. So clicking here will switch between UGUI mode and better UI mode. So the next image here has a scale border. So this is um, normal, but we scale the border by 0 0.2, so 20%, um, and it just um, makes this border smaller. We can also make it bigger or, uh, I don't know, 0 0.5 and one for example so it just scales the border here and uh, last but not least we have something for the tiled mode so here it looks very very similar but if we change the resolution you see it uh, the the yugui style will change the amount of um, tile tiled sprites while the better UI always keeps the same size or it looks the same size. All right, so we go on to better text. Um, 
we have some text here and uh, it looks very similar but if you change resolution we will notice a difference so um, this is a normal text which will uh, always have a fixed a, a fixed um, font size and and here on the green side the better ui side the font is scaled so the the uh, font size is scaled we have a font size of 20 or 10 or 40 depending on the resolution and uh, we also have here best fit maybe you know that from yugui we have here something cooler which is um, stay in bounds that means it will uh, always keep the size um, like like here on the before like get, getting smaller and bigger depending on the resolution but if it doesn't fit anymore into its uh, container or into the rec transform it will shrink but it will not grow however best fit is also possible with um, better ui all right and uh, i have another video about text so let's go on to layout what do we have here we have a um, grid layout group over here um, and it has fixed sizes uh, what we have in better ui we have all the sizes are relative so it will uh, again um, scale with the resolution and we also have the ability if we have a constraint count this means like three columns always then we can fit it so it will uh, shrink or grow to to be to fill up the whole space if i disable it it will look like yugui but if i enable it will fit inside this or in the, inside the horizontal uh, of the rect transform okay and in the middle we have some very uh, fancy thing um, this rectangle or a quad is always one inch and this is one centimeter so if the resolution or dpi changes this will always stay the same size i can uh, simulate this it by scaling here as you can see everything scales but this basically stays the same size also if I change the resolution it will always stay about the same size so this is done um, by using a scale transform scaler so uh, it scales the objects by the D DPI so all right and what we have down here is just again an example for uh, for um, layout group horizontal layout group uh, for um, fixed values like this versus the better ui um, relative values as you can see the spacing will change in the uh, better ui so it will always have about the same uh, distances while the yugui will will have really um, different pre-rings because this is always a pixel size so that's basically it i hope you enjoyed my video and um, good luck with better ui thank you